Mario Aguilar Castañón emigrated from Guatemala to the United States two years ago at 16 after he was allegedly beaten because he didn't join a local gang. He had been living with a family member in New Haven since. He came here not of his own free will as a child and now we're punishing him because he thinks of this as his only home. But while awaiting his immigration case to be adjudicated, Aguilar Castañón was arrested in August by West Haven police after a car accident. He was charged with operating under the influence, failure to renew the registration, lack of a license, and failure to insure a vehicle. He is not a hardened criminal. He's a good student at Wilbercross High School. But Immigration and Customs Enforcement nabbed him as he was headed into Milford Superior Court in September. And he's been held without bond in an immigration detention center in Massachusetts ever since. Which is one of the most horrible detention centers in, in this area in New England. We were told that children would not be detained by ICE. And uh, the fact that they've detained a high school student is really them going against their word not to. That's why we're so upset and that's why we decide to start a campaign. To that end, there will be a rally from Mario Aguilar Castañón Friday afternoon at 4 on the steps of New Haven City Hall. And we reached out to Immigration and Customs Enforcement uh, today on a couple of occasions via email asking why he was denied bond. We have not yet received response from ICE. We're live in our University of New Haven studio. Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.